right, so we're going somewhere new again today. I've just been on Google Maps. It's about a 15 minute drive away and it's called Deville Forest Hike. But apparently it looks like a normal forest to begin with. Um, but there's loads of like hidden locks and things inside of it, so uh, we'll go check it out. It's about 8 in the morning, so I should get there about quarter past 8. Um, it's a clear day, it's cloudy, but hopefully, fingers crossed, there's no rain. Okay, slight change of plan. The car park was um, closed because they were sort of doing some deforestation. So I've come to Gartmoor Dam Country Park, where I've come to. So no idea what it is, it was just on the maps. <laughs> so um, yeah, we'll have a little explore and see what's here. Okay, so the car park is pretty much right on the doorstep of the dam, so it's like a 10 second walk so it's good if you're feeling lazy but you know the second you're here let me just show you. the second you're here you're sort of given this within seconds which is just quite amazing everything's so still There's loads of birds and wildlife here already Look at that water. I've got two friends joining me though, I think. <laughs> Parking's free as well, which is always nice. So another free day out. And the sign says it's about a three mile walk all around circular path around the lake. So very nice. Got no jumper, got no coat. It's a bit nippy, but it's good. I was due to be at work today. I went for about an hour or so and they said, no, there's no work, go home. So, you know, this trip today is a bit of a bonus. It wasn't planned, obviously, because it all went wrong, but when I get sent home, I don't mind. It's all good to me. Once again, as per usual uh, in Scotland, I'm out here on my own. There was one guy walking with two dogs somewhere, but he, I think he went a different way, so. More peace. I've seen a little friend having the time of his life. Can you see him? Look. Just chilling out, loving life, <laughs> all by himself. You know, speaking of work, where they sent me home after just being there for an hour. You know, Amazon <laughs> do a lot of things wrong, but like, you get so worked up the night before having to, well I do anyway, knowing that you have to go into work and you have to wake up early, wake up at half four in the morning, go to bed early, have a little panic and calm down in the morning, ready to, ready to go. And then you get there, get masked up, <laughs> you know, coronavirus is all over the place. And then after like an hour's work, you just get sent home. And it's like, okay, just to like work for 40 minutes during a pandemic. It's like, really? <laughs> Seen anything more than that that says, please climb me and see what's up there.
I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Bit disappointing, but I I made it up. Okay, so climbing up that wasn't a uh, waste of time actually because I found a hidden bath, which I wouldn't have seen otherwise. So thank you, little hill. Little vantage point there. And see, little hidden path. Okay, so I'm now on the other side of the dam. So there's like a big field, like a nice cottage over there. And we're just walking, literally, walking right around the dam and we've got some very noisy family of ducks. The mum is like, um, it's this way. And the kids are like, no, we're going this way, mum. Anyway, so this is the other side of the dam where we started. We were like all the way over there. So yeah, about halfway I think now. This is why you should always turn around from where you've came, where you're walking, because you never know what you're going to miss. And look, we've got a real nice view of some mountains over there. Always look back from where you've come best advice. I think I found my new favourite view. This has like everything in it. It's got mountains, it's got calm water, it's got animals. Every time I turn around like a corner, it's like, it's like something else. I think I'm about three quarters of the way now. It's taken me about an hour and 20 minutes, but um, I've been stopping and starting a lot doing photos and videos and stuff. So I would 100% recommend coming here. If you're in the area or if you're around, it's definitely worth doing. It's, it's really calm, really peaceful. I've met, I'd say about three people. Um, like I say, it's about nine in the morning, so. Yeah, and then like round every corner, there's loads of different paths you can take if you want to do something different each time, but honestly, it's just, like, this is a path I just took, which kind of goes off the track, I think, so I might have to turn back around, but there's so many viewpoints, loads of places you could stop to have like lunch as well, if you wanted to do that in the middle of the day. Highly recommend. We have come to the end, we've done a full lap after this um, sort of brick path. So there you go. It was, um, it was good. I feel like I've had a good walk. I'm hot. I'm red faced. It's been good. I'm no longer mad or angry about work. So it's done its job. And just calm for the rest of the day now. Um, just so everyone knows as well, there's actually a cafe, depending if you start that end or start the other end, you can have breakfast and then go round, or it might be a good option to go round and have lunch once you've finished on the other side. Obviously it wasn't open because of um, coronavirus at the moment, but when you're when it's all opened up and stuff, it might be a good option, it looks nice. So, there you go. That was the video, and I'll see you all next time.